Today we're covering the dangers of living with silent symptoms. Susan Copen, a news anchor in Pittsburgh, suffered sudden cardiac arrest less than a year ago. She had a relatively benign condition that worsened without her knowledge. And so we mentioned in the last segment, you had mitral valve prolapse, right. which your doctor back in 2004 just noticed listening to your heart, but it wasn't causing you problems. No, not at the time. But you developed what's known as mitral valve regurgitation. And I want people to, to think about what happens in the heart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you in this life-size model. This, this actually is the exact same size as your heart and your chest. <laughs> so this is you looking at your heart from the outside. I'm gonna open it up because I wanna show you what these valves look like. So this over here, this is your right ventricle. This is your left ventricle. This is the mitral valve. So blood is supposed to flow one way in your heart. But what happens in your case, blood is in the left atrium. It flows down into the left ventricle, and then the left ventricle pumps that blood to the rest of the body. In Susan's case, instead of blood just being pumped out to the rest of the body, it would actually get pumped back up backwards. So what you have essentially is your heart is pumping some of the blood the wrong way. It gets pumped back into your lungs and back into the rest of, in, in many cases, people with severe heart failure, they'll come in and they've got, they've got edema in their legs. You listen to their lungs, they sound really wet. They're having trouble breathing. You also had a, an unexplained cough. Yeah, I coughed all the time. And I always assumed my kids brought home a cold from school and I was sick. I just, I assumed I was, I was just always sick. And it was this chronic cough, constant, constant, constant. And especially when I would work out, I would leave the gym and it was this horrible, nagging cough. Um, and it felt like asthma. And I mentioned it to my doctor one day and he said, you probably have, you know, exercise induced asthma. So I got an inhaler. And, and that's the thing, a chronic unexplained cough with unexplained shortness of breath is a sign of something going on. Yes, it could be asthma, but you know, listening to your lungs probably would have revealed crackles, fluid in your lungs. And these are the kinds of things that no matter who you are, I think you know this now, you, you don't want to ignore it. 